Welcome to Kurzweil 3000 for Mac. Kurzweil 3000 is software designed to support reading in many different ways. In this video you will learn how to open files in Kurzweil 3000, how to read documents, how to set up reading preferences to meet your needs, and how to use basic reading supports. Not every button and feature will be covered. Instead, we will focus on covering the basic features needed to get up and running with reading quickly. To log into Kurzweil 3000, double click on the Kurzweil 3000 icon on your desktop. You will be asked to enter your username and password. Do so and select the login button. Kurzweil 3000 for Mac is a palleted interface. Documents to be read open up in the main application window, which also contains buttons in the toolbar. A tip of the day is shown when you log in. You can dismiss the tip of the day by clicking the close button on the window. Kurzweil 3000 can open a variety of file types including PDFs, Word documents, plain text and rich text documents, as well as Kurzweil 3000's own KESI format files. You can also copy text from emails or web pages and paste the text into Kurzweil 3000. To open a file, click the Open button in the toolbar or select File Open from the menu bar or press Command O. Navigate to the file you'd like to open, select it and press the Open button. You may want to resize the document that opens up. To do so, go to the lower right corner and click and hold the resize handle. If the file is a Kurzweil file, a Word document, a plain text document, or a rich text document, it will simply open right away, as this file did here. If the file is a PDF, then Kurzweil goes through a step called OCR looking through each page of the PDF for text. This process only takes a few minutes. It is recommended that you save any file that you want to read more than once and have opened in Kurzweil 3000 as a Kurzweil formatted document called a KESI file. If I have a new document here, and I want to save this file, I would go to the menu bar, select File, Save. I can name my document and make sure that the file format is listed as Kurzweil 3000. Then I would click Save. You can use some zoom controls to help with how a Kurzweil file looks on screen. At the lower left of the main reading window there is a zoom slider. You can press the minus or plus buttons to change how much a document is zoomed in or you can click and drag the slider. Another thing that you can do is resize the reading window by dragging the bottom right corner to how big you would like the window to be. Then you can go up to the View menu and select Fit to Text Width. That will take the reading file and make it as wide as the main window is. So you can fill the window with text that's nice and easy to read. If you'd like to see the whole page, you can select View, Fit to Text Height and now all of the text on the page will fit in the one window. To go to next or previous pages you can select the next page button in the toolbar or the previous page button. You can also press the next page button on the bottom right side of the main window or the previous page button to go back pages. When Kurzweil 3000 does read in its default 
continuously reading mode, it will read from wherever you begin reading right to the end of the file, changing pages as it goes automatically. A reading tool palette can be enabled to reveal many of the key reading tools you will need. In the menu, select Window, Show Reader. The Curzo 3000 Reader Toolbox will open. To start reading, click anywhere in your document that you'd like to begin. And then press the Read button on the Curzo 3000 Reader Tool palette. Soldier Boy Privately to himself, I am Buffalo Bill's horse. I have spent my life... Text will be read aloud while it is being highlighted. To pause reading, press the same read button in the Reading Tools palette, which has now become a pause button. Alternately, you can press Command-R to read and Command-period to stop reading. Also, you can go to the menu bar and select Read start reading or stop reading. To move around a page you can click anywhere on the page, click the back and forward buttons on the reading tools palette or use the menu and select read, previous sentence, or next sentence. By default, once Curzo 3000 has begun reading, it will read continuously until it reaches the end of the document. This reading mode can be changed by changing the mode. Continuously reads until you stop the program from reading or until it reaches the end of the document. Self-paced will read a chunk of text and then stop, waiting to be started again. The size of the chunk of text is controlled by the Unit option. By default, a sentence of text is selected at a time, but this can be changed to Highlight, Line, Phrase, or Word. For most occasions, the default of continuously reading mode by sentence is the best. Alternately, these can be configured through the menu by selecting Read, Reading Mode, or Reading Unit. The voice that Curzel 3000 reads with can be changed along with the speed of the reading. In the Reading Tools palette, select the Voice option and choose from a variety of voices. Alex is recommended as a natural sounding voice. Change the number in the Words Per Minute box if you want to read faster or slower. There is no normal speed and you may change the reading speed depending on how you are feeling or the complexity of a document. Select a speed between 125 and 150 words per minute. And feel free to adjust from there. Reading voice and speed can be changed in the menus as well. Select Read. Set reading speed. And enter in a value in the dialog box to change the reading speed or select Read, Reading Voice to change the reading voice. A limited dictionary and thesaurus are available to you while reading a document. Select a word by double clicking on it and then press the Look Up Word button in the Reading Tools palette. You can also use the menus and select Read, Look Up Word, or press Command L. By default, a dictionary entry will appear, and the user can also press a synonyms button to generate a list of words that have a similar meaning to the selected word. 
Kurzweil 3000 can also read text that is copied and pasted into a blank document. To do so, press the New button on the toolbar, or you can use the menus and select File, New, or press Command N. A blank Kurzweil document opens up, and you can copy and paste text from such sources as emails, web pages, online articles, and more. Any time that text can be selected, copied, and pasted, Kurzweil can read it. I'm going to open up a web page and find some text that I'd like and select it. I'm going to right click, copy the text, switch back to my Kurzweil blank document, right click, and paste it in. If I want to keep this document, I should select File, Save from the menus, give the text a title, make sure that the file format is selected as Kurzweil 3000, and click the Save button. To get the document to read, I can click at the beginning of my document and press the read button in my reading tool palette. At the heart of healthcare, use your caring and compassionate nature to help those in need as part of a vital, in demand field. That is the basics of reading in Kurzweil 3000. Be sure to save documents as Kurzweil 3000 documents. Reading can be started and stopped using tool buttons, menu commands, or keyboard shortcuts. Change the voice and speed to match your preference. Kurzweil 3000 can open documents like Word documents and PDFs, or you can always copy text in from any source and paste the text into a new blank Kurzweil 3000 document.